Hello again, retro fans. I'm about to play one of, in my opinion, the classics on the TI-99. It's a game called Moon Mine, and the gameplay is quite shallow, but it's kind of like a guilty pleasure. It's just so enjoyable to play this, mainly because of the speech, and uh, which you'll see as as we get into the game. It's um, kind of hypnotic, and you can just you can just keep going. So that's in demo mode. Let's just close that blind in case sun comes out. So here we go, we jump in. Very cool game. So there we are with that tank and you can hold down button for auto fire and you can see our tank tracks here. These little things, you can press up and down to move the left and right ones or, or um, the up and down ones, obviously you move left and right on a joystick to move those. And with, when these things come up, you press space and you can actually exit the you can still shoot your little guy, and then you press space to get back in. Congratulations, Captain. Put the game. Yeah, something about this game. It's very easy, but it's just really satisfying to play. I play this quite a bit. One of those games I could quite happily sit here for half an hour and just uh, kind of get hypnotised by it. So that's the water. We need to go and collect that to keep our coolant. So there we go. Killed him. Congratulations, Captain. Water takes full. Bonus points gained. Extra crew member. Yeah, really cool speech. Really adds so much to this game. I'll show you what happens if you hold down a fire button too long. So you, you've got your temperature there, so you will overheat. A bit like uh, Pulso. <laughs> the Zygonaut you never actually meet, by the way. You, you always think you're going to meet him at some point, but, uh, but no, you don't. I tend to only use uh, the upper and lower targets, to be honest, rather than the, the side ones. So your character changes colour once you've picked it up. Ooh, oh, I've got to kill him first. Oh, it's not actually... Let me get back in. There we go. Yeah, nice change of um, colour between the levels as you go through, which just kind of adds an, an extra kind of cool bit to the game. Simple things like a colour change I find quite nice on these games. Congratulations, Captain. Water takes full. Bonus points gained. Got plenty of lives, so I will show you in a second what happens if you don't shoot the guys. They're quite easy to kill, but we we'll leave him. <laughs> yeah, he's right, you never will get him. Never have a chance. Would have been quite cool if you'd met him as like a little sort of boss at the end of one of the levels or something, but I'm pretty certain you don't ever meet him no matter how long you play. I've certainly never seen him. So again. Oh, thank you. Congratulations, Captain. Bonus points 
with Dave. Let's remember. <laughs> So anyway, there we are. It, it just, like I mentioned, doesn't really change too much. Difficulty doesn't really go up, but it kind of doesn't need to. It's really, it's just a weird thing when you play it. You'd see what I mean. It's um, it's a shallow gameplay, but I absolutely bloody love it. It's really, really good. But yeah, six minutes. I'll cut the video there. Uh, I think you've probably seen enough and you get the idea. I'll probably even carry on playing it. So, but anyway, thanks a lot for tuning in. Oh, I just quickly showed the cards. Uh, there we are. So there we go. Moon Mine, and that was 1983 as well, as were a lot of these sort of classic little games. But yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll catch you another time, and that is all.